Pick Computer Science video 12, Device Drivers. Peripheral devices, such as printers, have inside them their own little computer, their own little CPU within there. Now the CPU of a printer might not necessarily talk the same language uh, and process in the same way as the CPU inside a personal computer. So when we link the two together, we have to um, make sure that they can communicate with each other and for this we need something called a device driver which acts as a sort of translator between the two CPUs so that when we send something to print from our PC it does print at our printer. Quite often when we buy something like a printer um, it might come with a disk where we can um, install these device drivers from so this screenshot is showing some drivers for a printer being installed onto a computer therefore that computer will then be able to talk to that printer if the drivers didn't come with a disk with a printer you could probably download them from the manufacturers website and this was the way we would always have to get drivers to work we'd have to manually install them ourselves these days um, more often than not we don't actually see the installation of drivers happening because we utilize something that's commonly known as plug and play where the drivers will already belong in Windows so Windows 7 when it's installed has a big catalog of different drivers that it can just access when you plug in something like a printer or a scanner so you don't actually see the drivers being installed it just all happens automatically or um, we might be able to get those drivers from Windows updates where our Windows computers connect up to the internet and download the latest patches and fixes for Windows and security features um, but also drivers for peripherals. Key things that you need to know for the exam regarding device drivers are that they contain instructions for the operating system to communicate with a peripheral. Communication protocols are installed to the OS and drivers can also be used to configure hardware. Some further reading might take the form of going onto one of the many uh, websites out there that stores all sorts of drivers for all sorts of peripherals. Hope that video was useful. Bye for now.